We seem to hear about these moms all the time, the ones who have it all. Great career, wonderful children, successful spouse, beautiful home, amazing wardrobe, even a healthy glow and fit body. But I want all that and I can never seem to get there. So what's their secret? I had to know. So I rounded up a bunch of these wonder women and got them to spill the beans. And now I'm sharing their insights in this video. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. There was a time in my life when other moms frequently said to me, I don't know how you do it all. Back then, I was working two days a week as a television reporter, and the other five days I was spending running my real estate business from home, while still shuttling my kids to all of their sports and music and enrichment activities, plus running a Girl Scout troop and coordinating classroom parties as a room mom and finding time to get out on the weekends to see my husband's band and even squeezing in exercise and making healthy meals. And I was an emotional wreck. I was stressed out and yelling all the time because I was overwhelmed and not getting enough sleep and my house was a dysfunctional clutter catastrophe, far beyond the typical messy home of many families because I just didn't have time to organize or clean and I refused to let anyone else do it because of my controlling personality. But other moms didn't see the dark side of my life. They only saw the highlights, like we all do when we view others' lives through the lens of social media. And that's when I became obsessed with learning more about other moms who seem to have it all, to find out how they manage to juggle everything and if it's taking a toll on their health or sanity. Our generation is expected to not only be a babysitter and a mom, but someone who keeps the kids' energy up and to keep them active and to make sure they're not stolen and to make sure they're creative and they have to do this and that. And they have to eat healthy and organic. And, healthy and then I'm not there. Are you the perfectionist mom? I know I struggled with that. You're not. I'm not. And, okay. and so you don't worry if they eat junk food, you don't worry if the house is a mess, but you look so together. I, I mean, seriously, you know you're beautiful. Th thank you. And I read a book once and she, one mom said something like, it was a cotton dress and I had sunglasses on. And it changes the world. Like, it just makes you look better for some reason if you wear a dress. My kids always like, what are you dressed up for? I'm like, it's just a dress. It's just easier than whatever. And it's just, you got to put your best foot forward and try. It, it's helpful at least. You exude, I mean, beauty isn't just how you look. No. You exude that great vibe. You, you, you carry yourself confidently. And I said, I can tell you're kind of relaxed, so you're not really in work mode. You no. maybe have a little bit more stress yes. around you or something. My five-year-old is challenging today. It's very hot. She's tired. Her, you know, it's like one of those, oh, okay, let's just all try to have a good time. You know, I got to take a back seat. My husband's very good at, okay, not it. Your turn. And we just kind of tag team because he knows I get more stressed out than he does, so he can handle it easier. There's just my deficits where if it's just a lot on my plate, I go short fuse first, so he knows he can come in. And that's just, again, communication. You need that communication to be mentally better. <laughs> so somebody looks at you and says, oh my God, she has it all. Yeah. She's beautiful, she's got the full-time job, she's got the great husband, she's got the kids and they're doing well. And even when one of them had a little issue, she jumped right in and she fixed everything and she's the perfect mom, but you may not feel that way. No. What, what are the things that you're like, Oh, in this area, you said you don't worry about the food, you don't worry about the house, but what are the things that you are like, uh, I kind of feel like a failure in this area? Oh, God, I feel like a failure in all areas. I mean, be serious. Like the junk food, you know, there's those moms, like they get five meals and this, that, and the other, and I'm like, I don't care. Uh, TV time, I'm like, go for it. I mean, I go. For, I was raised, I felt, I feel fine. Um, so they can have as much screen time as they want. Pretty, pretty, mm, pretty okay with it, or you feel guilty about it? Well, when hey, I see another mom who does, oh, da, 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 I'm like, oh, okay. I don't really feel guilty by much because I'm surviving. And I know that's not the best way, word to use, but I'm surviving. And I know I, I've actually, just this year, I said something like, I was having an anxiety attack and I had to call my mom and I knew I was going bananas and my mom was really good about it. And the teacher looks at me, she goes, you look like you're so put together and everything's great. And I said, I just reined my crazy in. And I'm very, I like to be honest, and I don't know if people believe me, but I'm like, I have anxiety issues. I had to go on medication this year. It just got to be too much. But I'm very open about it because I think when people aren't, they think, especially social media, her life's amazing. Every, no, it's not. You take pictures of everything that looks nice. You don't take pictures of when your house is trashed, when your kids like fighting, when your laundry's up to here. You just have to do what you need to do to survive. And if 
that's TV time, give some TV time. If that's, you know what, do you guys want chips for dinner tonight? Okay, we'll have chips for dinner tonight. Like, especially as my husband traveling so much, it's difficult. So a lot of me is just survival. Like, this is a one-piece dress. It's much easier to pick out than like a five-piece ensemble. Survival. And congratulations to you to recognize that I need some help, you know? It's okay to say, I need some help. There are times when we go as a family, when we go on vacation, we've, um, for example, you make it work with the activities that you have. We went to Sedona, Arizona for one of my daughter's film festivals. It was our first time and we were able to just um, do the walking with the rocks. I forgot what they're called, those meditational things. And she does a lot of meditation with yoga to help with the stress from school and acting and you know all the sports that she's into. So we kind of all put it, pulled it all together. So you kind of find both, you learn. There's a lot of moms that would look at you and go, wow, she has it all. You hear about this, those moms that have the great career and the great family and they're doing a wonderful job as a mother and they got it all together and they look at you and they go, how come I always feel so frazzled and she has it all? No, it's never like that. It, it sounds so good, but it'll never be like that. You, you're going to go up and down hills. You're going to be through roller coaster rides. You're going to have the emotions just like a regular. Everything is there. You just learn to figure out the pieces of the puzzle and you know you just like you said meditation yoga the little things that make a difference for you and the little accomplishments that you make every day and you continue to be consistent in those areas and you'll make it just like a career and that's why the career has helped me help her what are some of your mistakes that you can own up to well you know be, not being able to cook a lot of times for my family you feel inadequate like not a real mom like not someone that's always there for your family where other moms are there constantly at home just waiting on their children I think that's one of the biggest areas that really honed on on me because I was giving a lot of time to my career I didn't come home sometimes seven eight o'clock I traveled a good hour you know to get to work and um, those are sacrifices that I had to make and they hurt but I knew that I had to continue that because I couldn't stay home unless I knew that I would have other opportunities. I don't know. I got to my 40s and I decided I am who I am and I'm, I, I'm not going to try and be someone I'm not. So when I need help, I ask for it. And you look great. Look at you in shape, uh, tan, so happy. So there are a lot of women out there that would look at you and say, she's doing it all. She has it all. The career, the kids, she looks good and I'm just failing every day. How, how is she doing it and I'm not? What can you say to the viewers? I would say get mentally strong, right? And know that if you're doing the best that you can, then I think that's enough. It's enough. My enough may be different from someone else's enough, you know, but I don't know if you're happy and I think it's important to, for me, not for everybody, but for me, it's very important to contribute something other than motherhood. You know, I've contributed motherhood. I feel like I'm a good mom. I try and do a lot with my kids who are all standing here watching me right now. <laughs> They're all looking at me. Um, but I also feel like I, I have to contribute in other ways outside the home. So for me, you know, that's enough. And so one more thing, what is the biggest thing that does stress you out that you haven't really been able to sort of let go of and you're, and you're like, I know I shouldn't be so uptight about this, but I still get uptight about it? I think it's honestly, I think it's missing my kids' activities. That is really hard on me. And my mom always reminds me, you know, Michelle, I, I did not come to every one of your activities and it's okay. And I think for some reason there's a mom guilt there that I just feel like, oh, if I can make it to three different events in one night, I'm gonna try. But then at the end of the day, it's like, okay, they're okay without me. I've raised strong kids and they're okay. They know I love them whether I'm there or not. I try and go to everything I can, but I, that's probably my biggest thing. And of, of all of them, what percent are you missing? Oh, like five to ten. <laughs> and you're still beating yourself up over that? Of course, yes. Yes. <laughs> you're not the only one. Works. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really am fortunate um, to where I have a supportive husband. He helps with a lot of the things around the house. Um, and and we, do, we do occasionally get out. I would say probably once or twice a month. Um, but we were, we didn't have, we were married for eight years before we had a, uh, our daughter. And so we had a lot of time for our marriage you know to, for for the two of us before we had her and so now we're definitely dedicated to to her wow so a lot of moms would look at you and say she's doing it all she's one of those moms that has it all and i feel frazzled every day how can i be like her i i don't know i i don't know i really i genuinely feel like i did um fall into something good and it's i i think it really is um you have to put your mind um, you have to focus on what you really want and, and not adjust for other people. 
um, really I put my daughter first and everything for her is first and then everything else but but really my goals then come shortly after that and that's that's how I got it, I do you feel frazzled ever you seem so calm what do you do meditation every day no actually I am the person that everybody says oh you just always look stressed out but I'm not I'm I'm not that's just the way that I am I I do multitask often and I think that's the way to get things done there's some things that kind of got lost now that you're working and you got four kids you're still doing everything at home is it harder now that you do get out of the house a couple days a week to juggle everything else do you feel like a warrior in a battlefield oh yeah oh yeah I like keeping up with the house and trying to keep everything going is hard but my husband's gone a lot he works on the road so it's kind of like single mom a lot I feel like so is it stressful how do you deal with the stress oh yeah, oh, yeah. um <laughs> yeah, drink some wine. Yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> Any advice for the viewers out there that are dealing with that same stress? That say I can't take it. She's got it more together than me. She's yeah. doing a triathlon. Oh no, you just have to get some me time. Just anything you can to just get away and have your your time to yourself. I hope these moms help you realize we're all struggling to keep it together some of the time, or maybe most of the time, even the moms who seem to have it all. And we can help each other by sharing our failures as well as the things we do that work out great. And that's what I'm doing for you by giving you more secrets and tips from other working mothers. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to soak up more inspiration to help you conquer your challenges and face another day of frenzy and fulfillment.